Yo, 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 it's D. Arthur in the building. I'm, I'm talking to you guys today about why people might be more obsessed with you when you go on retention. Why you, you, you might have full submission from people that you desire when you go on retention. Why you'll be looked at as someone known as the advancing man if you utilize retention properly. See, see the thing is like... The, the thing is, like, a, a, a lot of people, they they don't like to try new things. They actually, actually like, they, they do the same thing. They, they're doing the same thing over and over, over, and over again. They, they never try, any, any, any time something bad happens, their mood changes. Um... They get defeated very quickly. They get defeated very quickly. They don't think things can change. And if you, if you allow outside circumstances to change your mood, to change your mood consistently, and you, you don't, ha you never have any control over your how moody you are. You you can't really stay s s the same in your mood regardless of situations. Then it one it really it. One, it's hard for you to be a leader. One, it's hard for you to 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 run to run a business. One, it's hard for you to gain wealth, and you're just gonna live very. You're, you're gonna be. You're just gonna live not as abundant as you can be if you exhibit these behaviors. Now, because the thing is, if you if you if you are business minded, you you start to realize that. And I, I think Gary V said this. He said that if you if you really wanted to be an entrepreneur, like you would have to handle adversity. And if you if you can handle adversity, the the person who can stay the same in the midst of something that is not going his way has the utmost power because his mood does not change by outside situations he knows the end result is him winning so he he does he never doubt never enters his mind doubt never enters his mind and he's concrete in his intentions he knows what's for him he knows what he knows that abundance is only for him so regardless of situations his mood never changes his mindset never changes some decisions might change to adjust himself but for the most part, a lot of things just don't change in his mindset. And this is a very powerful skill to have. Um, not be, being indifferent about situations, being different about maybe people, never really showing your true colors, being stagnant in your in your mind, uh, in your in your feelings. You might feel things, but you don't really show them until you really want to show them you're you people may think you're bluffing and things like that but i mean this is a very powerful skill to have because you can really go you can withstand anything that really comes your way if you have this if you have this type of um, or and the thing is the the thing is about the thing is about vibration the thing is the the people who tolerate less if you tolerate less um you probably like yourself a lot a little bit more see the thing is like some some guys they think that they have to argue with every single person if they're not getting their way they have to argue they have to they think things aren't fair they don't think things can work out and if you're arguing consistently and aka example maybe it's with a woman or something like that it really means that one, you haven't taken care of everything, and two, and two, you you just think that you you probably haven't taken care of everything. Um, you, it really it kind of just really depends. It really depends like what the situation is. But but the thing is, what I'm really trying to say is, you're the the type the type of. Uh, the type of aura, the type of mindset that you, that you habitually, habitually have, the the type of aura that you habitually have, 
they it will those that type of mood will start to to, to attract like like situations to you so like i said this if if you're consistently in a negative state of mind if you consistently think the worst is going to happen if you consistently are rushing if you consistently are not disciplined in your mind and you, no matter what no matter the smallest things happens and that makes your mood and that lowers your mood that lowers your vibration what tends to happen is more things like that will start entering your life for, for an example like if like if you're if you're going if you're in a bad state of mind if someone at your job pissed you off made you mad and then you carry that vibration that that mood of anger with you and then you're maybe you're driving to work or something like that you start realizing that all of you don't catch any of these breaks you don't catch any breaks people might cut you off the road uh you might hit every red light possible and and people might start to diss you you're getting the worst from people what if you're exhibiting a high vibration exhibiting very positive energy very nonchalant energy very masculine alpha energy and the the true the true alphas the true like masculine guys they they really are just very nonchalant they're 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 probably the most nonchalant a lot of things can't really get them to to uh to destroy their mood like a lot someone has to be purposely trying to hurt them in their mood for them to really react in a in a negative way they're very nonchalant a lot of things just don't really bother them as much they don't like they don't entertain as much things they don't tolerate as much things most of the time they're they're the same their their moods are the same their actions are the same they have the same habits they have probably really good habits and they have they have masculine energy and they have they're probably some 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 people are probably operating at a, at a different level of consciousness they they know that they're all they know that the all knowing is with them they know that the infinite intelligence is with them they know that their mindset their what the, whatever they focus on whatever they talk about is dictating their reality they don't they don't, they don't believe in lack they know there is abundance for all and like I said, if you have if you have this aura about you, you're just gonna be looked at as the head honcho. You're gonna be looked at as a as a natural leader, someone who can lead, who can become the leader of men, someone who can lead lead um, infants, someone who can lead businesses, someone who can lead countries, someone who builds things. But like I said, if you if you have a if your mood is is up and down. If you're if you're operating from your, your if your mood is always up and down, even if the worst, even if something very small happens and somehow you're you, you've changed your mood because you, then you're letting you're letting have things have power over you. You're letting have things have power over you and you cannot let things have power over you. No, no matter what they are, no matter what they are, you cannot let ha you cannot let things have power over you if you're reacting in a negative way. And we probably all struggle with this, but if you're acting, reacting in a negative way, and you're letting her get, maybe, maybe it's a woman, and let, you're letting her get under your skin, then she has power over you. And the best way to do this is one to be on your purpose, because if you're on your purpose, anybody who tries to take you off your purpose, you know they're that they're, you know that it's not that important. But if you're, like I say, if you're on your purpose, if you're truly on your purpose, and what does what does being on your purpose really mean? Being on your purpose just means that you have an inner knowing that you you are you are set out to do something, and nothing in your way, if if it's for good reasons, nothing in your way can really get you in the way can get in the way of you accomplishing said goal, regardless of what it is. You can't. You don't tolerate. You just don't have as much time as you think you can. You're you're busy. You're you're on the move. You're you're also you're known as the advancing man. You're showing people the the means of life. You're you're attracting abundance. You're adding value to people. And like I said, like if you do this, if you do this, and you actually do it real, like you're actually real about it. What whatever whatever line of work you're in, low end to high end, you're just exhibiting very professionalism 
you're, you have high enthusiasm and you, you're just crushing your goals and your actions and habits are aligned with what you are set, to, set out to do, you will have, you will get an increase by divine, by divine order, by divine law. Things will start naturally be going for you. People, people want to submit to you. They want to look at you as someone they can ask questions to. They want to look to you as someone they can, that they, that can help them. And like I said, like the thing is, like if if you're if you're letting cer certain people d d destroy your mood, then it, it really is best for you to not be reactive t to people. You have to be more proactive than reactive. Because if you're proactive, at least you can go somewhere. If if you're reactive, then you're letting have someone have power over you, and. This this is just a recipe for disaster. And like I said, when you when you when you're exhibiting high vibration, when you're on retention, it's just easier for you to cope with things and become who you truly want to be. You tolerate less, and you just want all the abundance that you can really have. You'll you'll be a fulfilled man. You'll you'll live you'll live abundantly. You'll 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 live with intention, and you really be set out. You'll really get what you really desire. <clears throat> so yeah like just make sure you're not letting other things dictate your mood and you're on your purpose consistently because at some point things things will manifest things will come into your life you will get what you want what you were set out to do so yeah like i said like i said like your intelligence skyrockets you no longer tolerate small things and your intelligence skyrockets. You you become a critical thinker thinker. You you can solve problems. You can help you can add value. You can attract abundance. You can become who you want to be. So yeah, um if that made sense, like the video. Like the video, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.